Hello my soccer universe. Well, the German season is almost, almost over. We have a few games uh, still left to play to have everything decided. But the Bundesliga is over and I have to say, this was first Bundesliga, second Bundesliga. It was a weird round, many lopsided results. And rather the teams that should perform almost all did not perform in a way uh, so yeah let's get right to it i think the big story in the bundesliga that everyone was focusing on was the relegation uh, battle in the sense who is getting the last relegation playoff spot and who is staying um who is going down directly between bremen and düsseldorf and you see the results here it was rather lopsided düsseldorf uh started with a very strange lineup were uh you know rather attacking and got quickly caught on the counter attack and were down rather early and that uh did not help their confidence um i'm just looking here uh uja who actually uh played for Werder bremen made it one nil in the 26th minute and with that score uh, Bremen seemingly got the upper hand already and then uh, they had chances. Kern actually threatened once through Modest uh, but it was kind of a weirdo shot but then in the 22nd, in the 27th and in the 29th in a rather short succession, succession they made it 3-0. So uh, Bremen draws first blood then uh, Düsseldorf goes down and based on that suddenly Bremen goes up. Um, Düsseldorf did not know the score in Bremen at the half because they knew they just needed to get the win. Uh, they were told lay, later in Bremen um, did not want to tell anything from the Düsseldorf score but at the halftime they saw the screen that Düsseldorf was 1-0 down so this was kind of the coach um, Kofeld for Bremen needed to do some extra work there to keep his players focused and not too uh, euphoric. Uh, but the bad form for Düsseldorf continued. Düsseldorf just uh, did not really could, could, could not handle that uh, Union Berlin, who actually had two former Bremen players, and I think that played a factor, uh, was actually uh, giving them, um, you know, counter. And in the 54th, uh, Gentner made it already. Um, 2-0 uh, for Union Berlin and then Klassen in the 55th and in the uh, in the 58th Osako made it 5-0 for, for Bremen at that point there was even the goal difference uh, speaking in favor of Bremen with the 4-0 they equalized with 5-0 they had it even better goal di 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 difference in case um, Düsseldorf plays a uh, draw so this was also important then a uh, short shocker because Köln pulled one back uh, but Sargent quickly, quickly, quickly made it there after 6-1 uh, Köln, who are a rival of Düsseldorf, it has to be said, did not show anything, absolutely anything. Uh, I have to say I would be rather disappointed uh, and there were quite some disappointing performances, I have to say. Um, the last in the 90th, um, um, Union makes it 3-0. And Düsseldorf goes down, and I have to say, uh, they wore two nice jerseys to go down. The Austrians did not deserve to go down, and I actually feel for Düsseldorf, because as we will see in the table, they did not lose all that often, it's just a ton of draws that uh, were there undoing. Uh, yes, I was for Bremen, because Bremen is my, one of my teams there, so I did not want to see them go down, but I have to say, Düsseldorf being relegated, especially you know they they just couldn't hang on to wins and that kind of hurts a little bit i have, I have to say this is one of those uh, relegations where you really wonder were there really the a team that deserved to go down and i more, the more i think about it the less i think this was this was the case in any case other games um it was also the final champions league spot where yeah you know it was not really that 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 much of a battle because although Bayer Leverkusen uh, quickly got the lead uh, or in a second minute through Folland uh, it was also that uh, Gladbach very quickly uh, got on the winning um, uh, road call it in German the 
Siegerstraße um, in the seventh minute through Hofmann um, and had chances were dominating uh, and then when and ball in the 78th made it 2-0 it basically was done nice goal by Ibisevic to end the game but uh, actually Gladbach was really the dominant, dominant team Leverkusen um, against Mainz it seemed at first that Mainz might not show up but then Mainz really uh, was playing well and he, Probably could have been a 2-0 all, all, all over there, but Mainz very well could have scored as well. And I think we got a glimpse of the new Leverkusen home jersey, which are black again. They are always switching up and I don't like it. For me, Leverkusen should play in red with black and not... Uh, the black should be an uh, accessory, <laughs> well, a third jersey in, uh, as well. So uh, Gladbach gets that final Champions League spot. And then there was a short battle between Wolfsburg and Hoffenheim of who uh, will finish um, sixth and seventh. And it clearly demonstrated the difference between Bayern and Dortmund. Dortmund did not show up at all and Kramaric ran a riot over, over them. I think Dortmund, the last two home games were just a disgrace on their part. Uh, Kramaric, four goals by the 50th minute, and it could have been worse. Uh, Dortmund's uh, playing nicely forward, but uh, completely lacking any defending, not good. Bayern, on the other hand, they have still something to play for. There was maybe a record in there, uh, getting 100 goals and whatever, and they got their 100 goals. Uh, I think only 101 is the rec record for them. Coleman, Cuisance, uh, Lewandowski with a penalty, and Thomas Müller in the 79th get the goals. Uh, Wolves were playing in also the new jerseys, which remind me a lot about this Nigeria jersey. Um, I think it's better than what they were wearing all that season. So yeah, I think those were the big uh, talking points. Uh, and so the final table is Bayern, champions of course, with 100 goals, it doesn't fit in my format here. Uh, that's something I have to rethink. Uh, Dortmund finishes second, Leipzig uh, gets a final win and Gladbach makes it in, in, into the Champions League. Hoffmann goes uh, top of Wolfsburg, Schalke in rare form lost 4-0 to Freiburg, fired their coach uh, right thereafter. Schalke was, before we had the restart, we thought that Schalke could act, actually challenge for Europe and then they were probably the worst team. Uh, right there but a good performance before that uh, actually saved them and as we can see on the bottom Werder Bremen and uh, Osleep Liefuchs Düsseldorf and now has a good chance to stay up because there's the um, relegation playoffs whom will they play well <sighs> short answer Heidenheim but if you look at the results Bielefeld 3-0 Heidenheim Hamburg 1-5 Sandhausen I just cannot believe what was happening there. Uh, Hamburg played actually quite well at the one, and then Sandhausen scores the first goal and they completely fall apart. Uh, in First an own goal in the 13th and Behrens in the 21st and it didn't look well. Uh, the only thing that was going well for them is at the same time Bielefeld actually uh, decided to show up against Heidenheim had a 2-0 lead at the half. And then Hamburg gets a penalty, pulls one back, but it was not to be uh, in the last 10, 10 minutes. I think they were pushing forward and um, Hamburg gets a penalty, uh, um, Sandhausen gets another penalty and then it just goes all pear-shaped. Hamburg again, they had so many chances to be in the top two. Remember that game in Stuttgart and then just not happening. Uh, speaking of Stuttgart, also rather disappointing, losing 3-1 and then um, the uh, you know, who goes in the relegation playoff? Yeah, you cannot rely on Fürth. Nürnberg had the lead, Holstein, Kiel equalized, uh, Kreuter Fürth had the lead, but KSC Karlsruhe turned, turned it around and Nürnberg cannot find the winner. So if you look at the table here, it is Nürnberg who has to now fight for their existence in the, um, professional football because the third league is a kind of semi-professional football so they probably will do it professionally. Heidenheim is playing and yeah it doesn't look uh, very promising. I think Bremen are big favorites. The games will be played next Thursday and then on Monday I think the first game is in Bremen. 
I have said if Bremen should win, uh, stay in, I will get a jersey. I already have one uh, looking in. Let's finish up in Austria. Uh, very weird round. Uh, Salzburg 3 0, last loses at home 1 0. Uh, very unlucky again. It reminded me about so many games that we had a few week, week, weeks ago. Uh, game was rather, rather even, but then Lask has chances, just doesn't want to go in. Uh, again, hit the bar once. And uh, second half, Wolfsburg is actually really on the ropes. But then Lask also had a very, and it was a penalty, very unnecessary penalty. Um, there was also, I think, a penalty claim for Lask, but unfortunately, our striker pulled the short first. So, yeah. You could have made third spot at least uh, secured that with the, with the win. That loss uh, stung, and especially with Rapid winning 3 2 as well. Um, big win in the relegation round for St. Burton at Austria 5 2, which actually almost gets rid of all their troubles. So, if we look here at the final, at the current table, we have that Salzburg, uh, regardless of how many points Lask may or may not get back. Salzburg uh, is champion, so uh, that was, I have to say, a little bit, bit on the on, on expect Rapid now in a better C situation. It is still tight, uh, two, three, four, uh, but yeah, what can I say? Uh, and on the relegation uh, round, as I said, St. Burton now looks actually rather safe, and I think uh, Tirol now is in the worst position of them all. Anyway. Let me know what you thought about the Bundesliga games. I didn't even say that I'm wearing Bayern because it's the only team of, that I have that actually has won. And yeah, they made a record and Bayern is again fully deserved champion and they're probably now uh, favorites to win the Champions League. Although with now a month break, I'm not sure how this will go, but they have one more game in the cup final coming up. Anyway, let me, let me know below what you thought about uh, the finish of the German season uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe with that i wish you a wonderful day bye